Now, to be fair, I did part ways with this job after just two weeks because, well, honestly, because I'm kind of lazy and I didn't want to work 60 hours a week. However, with the small portfolio of software projects that I'm about to show you, I was able to land a job at a software engineering company paying $160,000. All right, so starting chronologically, the first piece of software that I made was GoAtlas.io. And this was actually the first software company that I also ever started and consequently built myself. And also, it turns out, is the only software that I actually made good money from. So it's kind of weird that it was the very first one and it was also kind of the most successful. But it was a tool that integrated with Amazon's API that allowed Amazon sellers to check on their inventory, find new products to sell and manage their whole business. And this took about three months for me to build. And the reason it took kind of a long time, even though it's a relatively simple app, is because I kind of didn't know what I was doing. I had never really done anything with web development at all. Up to this point, I had done some like MATLAB and Python stuff in college, like a little bit here and there, but I never really built a full web application. And so I had to learn all about all of the different things that you need to know for web apps. I built this using a MERN stack. Um, so if you know what that is, you can look it up. But this was kind of like a full stack built application that I built from the ground up by myself. And again, it took about three months. And I ended up selling the whole platform uh, just like a year and a half later for over 300 grand. So it was a pretty successful product. So the next one that I did after that was stackpages.io. And this one I only ended up making maybe a couple hundred dollars on. So it was not nearly as successful as Atlas, but it was very successful in terms of teaching me a lot of new aspects to web development. So for this one, it was more technically difficult. And this is something that I think a lot of software companies might want to see if they're looking to make you a job offer is how many technically challenging things has this person done? They don't actually care whether the business side of things was super successful or not. They want to see that you can actually build high quality products. So the reason that stack pages was so technically difficult is because I had to do kind of everything. I had to allow users to build their own pages. So I had to have a you know, page builder set up. And then I had to host those pages somewhere and I had to provide encryption. I had to allow them to use their own domain. So I had to figure out domain name stuff. It was kind of complicated. I spent a lot of time trying to just figure out how to connect all these pieces together to allow users to build landing pages and then host them on their own domain. And also I had to build out like an analytics system so that the users could see how many views that their pages were getting. So all in all, it's a pretty complicated piece of technology, a pretty complicated web app, um, integrating a lot of different, uh, more technically difficult challenges. Now the next one is the most recent one that I built. I built it just like maybe a few months ago, just for fun. And uh, I only spent maybe, I don't know, a few days total on this one. So I have gotten better. I'm actually a little quicker at being able to make different web apps. So that's great. So you can see the progress I've made going from taking several months of building a, a simple web app to, hey, I can now put something together in a matter of a few days. And this is helloportfolio.io. So it's supposed to be Hello Portfolio. And it allows you to track your portfolio over time. So you can upload a spreadsheet and then it will take that spreadsheet. It will look at the prices for all of your investments over really any period of time. And you can see how well your portfolio has performed over any section of time that you want to look at. So it's it's decently challenging, uh, techn technologically wise, um, because you're having to you know upload and download spreadsheets. You're having to then have a backend to check the stock prices for different days and time periods over different stretches of time. And I also integrated like NFTs and crypto, um, and I wanna integrate real estate soon. So like there's there's a lot of things kind of going on in the back end that makes it a little more technically difficult. And I did use Next.js for this, and it was really nice because it's kind of all bundled together, it makes it a lot easier. 
one thing that I've noticed just over the past few years is that web development has gotten a lot easier. There's so many more tools and frameworks that make it really easy to just kind of get an app up and running very quickly. So those three are pretty much all that's on my resume nowadays. And what is also on there is all the different skills, frameworks, and tools that I learned to make all of them. So it's not just, oh, here's these three things. It's also, hey, I know how to use Firebase, and I know how to use Next, and I know how to use React, and I know how to use Node, and you know all the different tools that I've used over the years to build all these different software things, I can list those on my resume as well. So hopefully this will help you, you know, land a job. You can come up with some other ideas to build out these different, you know, web platforms or whatever, build out some kind of tool so that you can show it off to a potential uh, job. And hopefully this will help you land a nice six figure job. And if you have any other questions about how to land a great paying job or how to build some of these complicated apps, just drop me a comment. I pretty much reply to all my comments. So just drop a comment and I'll get back with you. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.